What's going on y'all? Let's talk about tires. Truck tires. So since last summer I've been noticing a problem with the truck when I'm driving it, I tend to feel like the truck's out of alignment. I'll just kind of give you an example of what is going on here. So when I would be driving the truck, I would have to, if I wanted to stay on a straight course, typically from the right lane, I'm gonna have to tilt the steering wheel a little towards the left. Not tilt, but turn the steering wheel a little bit towards the left in order to keep the truck in a forward motion. So I couldn't be driving down the road like this with the steering wheel. I would have to drive down the road with the steering wheel like this. So the first thought that comes to mind is that I need a front end alignment. And I'm noticing as well, I'm wearing out the tires in the front a little faster and I've had to replace them a little sooner. Now the tire problem started almost immediately after buying the truck. I've got a tire package added onto the warranty and I noticed a issue with one of the tires and I took it into a dealership immediately and they replaced the tire with what I would call a garbage tire. By the time I drove from Texas to Colorado, that tire was just terrible. And so I already bought a new tire, a discount tire. I love discount tire because they're all over the country almost, and their customer service is amazing. They know who I am when I come in and put in my phone number, they know all the tires that I've purchased for every vehicle that I've got, and they're usually right on top of getting me scheduled, getting me the tires I need. They take good care of me. And I've had issues where in the past where I couldn't air up my rear tires on the back of the truck because of the dually situation, and they've actually taken the whole thing apart for me aired up my tires and then not charge me that time and they're just like you know what just tell customers uh, about your good experience here so here I am telling you I had a good experience when you buy tires a lot of times they will tell you you can't just buy one tire at a time you gotta buy the set or the pair and I've always been like ah I know better than you I'm just gonna buy one tire I'll be fine and I've kept all the same in the back they're all what came with the truck originally and they're all wearing nice and evenly but in the front i wound up with one okay one here and one new one over there so that's my problem i replaced this one in march because this side was wearing out too much and now i notice this problem see how worn out this side is the other side the group the uh tread is still nice and deep so it's obviously wearing out on this side before the other side. So I took the truck in. I found a place here nearby that was willing to uh, do a front end alignment. Like, can you get here in 30 minutes? I'm like, sure. So they brought me in and they did the full workup, checking the alignment and come back. And he's like, there's nothing wrong with your alignment. It's perfect. I'm like, yeah, but my tire and, and the way I drive, he said, that's the tire. The tire itself is causing the problem. The tire is pulling the truck to the right towards the ditch, not the alignment. It's like, normally if you're just driving, he says, your steering wheel will go straight. I'm like, yeah. He goes, your alignment is fine. Everything from the steering wheel down to the tires is all exactly how it should be. It's the tire that is then pulling me. So we're going to get two new tires because like I said, it's my fault. I should have bought two tires it's expensive i mean right <laughs> this is gonna be probably near 600 dollars for two tires dun 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 yeah so i'm gonna go back they they had to order the tires the shop that i went to didn't have them but they could get them in a couple of days the prices were reasonable compared with what i was expecting now i can't go back to discount tire because apparently they don't have discount tire in new york New York has like, I don't know what's going on, but New York keeps some businesses out. There's no Wells Fargo's. There's uh, hardly Pizza Hut. We've seen Pizza Hut buildings. You know how when you saw an old Pizza Hut, you knew that building was a Pizza Hut? We see them all over New York. Every last one of them is like closed and abandoned. And now discount tire. There's no discount tires up here. So I am out of luck and have to uh, get a tire another way. Now I have warranties on these, and when Discount Tire sold me tires, they said if you're in a position where you can't get back to us and something happens and you need to replace them, they'll have some kind of reimbursement for me. Of course, that's some extra legwork I'll have to go through to figure that out. But it is almost time for me to head over. 
I've got an appointment at 3.30 to go and have the tires replaced. So let's go check it out. Oh, and I checked with them and I asked, can I film video at your garage? And they're like, why wouldn't you be able to? <laughs> I'm at Lamarty's Auto and Diesel Repair. This is in Macedon, New York. Not very far at all from our campground. In fact, not very far at all from where I dumped a king-size mattress. If you've watched our videos about what to do with a king-size mattress, you could check that out. I'll try to remember to link that in here somewhere. But these guys got me in same day when a lot of other places were saying that they were easily a week out before they could get me in just for a all right, it's noisy out here on the highway. Before they could get me in for just a front end alignment. Make sure when you call places about front end alignments that you, if you have a dually, let them know because there's gonna be some shops that will not be able to accommodate a dually. That's important. I found this place just using Google map search and when I looked, I could see bigger trucks out here in the parking lot. And that let me know, no, let me know that they will accept a truck with a dually, but I still asked. It just got me to give them a call. There was another place not far from here I called. Had great reviews on Google Maps, but unfortunately they couldn't get me in. These guys are a little bit of a younger crew. It's a husband and wife that run the place, plus a few other techs that work here. Hands down, terrific service, straightforward, very nice. I have a chip on my shoulder when it comes to working on vehicles and taking them to shops. I've been to a place before, we took Tanya's car, and someone had uh, in the shop, we took it to for an oil change. It was obvious they took a pocket knife to a vacuum line and caused the engine to run rough, hoping probably that we would come back to generate more business. So I have a chip on my shoulder. I grew up in a household full of mechanics, where we all worked on our own stuff. I've never worked on a diesel truck, and I've never been able to swap out tires, so it's just a tough thing. You can go into a place, just kind of like, ah, is this going to be a good place for me to, to take my vehicle and that I can trust them? But their customer service at this place is absolutely amazing. Their prices have been totally on par. I was expecting a lot worse. I was expecting probably $100 to $200 more than what it's going to cost me. So I think that they are very fair. So if you're in the New York area and you're on the east side of Rochester and you need to get your vehicle worked on, Lamarty's is awesome. And hey there, AAA approved. Funny little side note from the first time I was here to get the alignment checked, there was another gentleman that was here getting his uh, horn fixed. He's a New Yorker and he just, his horn was broken and he was so sad because he, what's a New Yorker without their car horn? It's just, him and I had some good laughs. I just told him about our experiences with being honked at so much in New York. We were both chuckling about it pretty good. Nice guy. Discoverer AT3. I feel like this is what I used to have on our Ram 1500. It's kind of funny though. I've got this off-road looking tire in the front and these more classic style tires in the back. So now the tire situation is like party in the front, business in the back. <laughs> Wait, isn't that what my hair's like? No, it's the other way around. Mark, the technician, after he put them on, he took it for a drive real quick and he said it's not pulling at all to either side. It's going nice and straight. Nice to know. Now, for me, the issue wasn't so much the fact that it was pulling. Yeah, it, it kind of, when you're driving and you're having to pull it while you're driving down the road, it wears the driver out a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not the worst thing in the world. But when I looked at that tire and how it was kind of going bald on the side of it, that was the biggest fear. Because the next nail that hit that corner of the tire is gonna be me pulled over on the side of the road dealing with the tire while, probably while we're hitched up to a trailer. All right, ride back home was pretty good. I felt like it was a little bit, like I was, putting the steering wheel to the left, but it's so hard to tell when you're just on some city streets and things are bumpy and all over the place and things are just curving. I won't really get a good feel for it till I get out on an interstate and can just let it go on a straight stretch for a little while. Overall though, I mean, it was better. It was just better, well, like I was saying before. It's not so much that I had to, to pull to the side, it's the fact that that tire was already really wore out that bothered me and the fact that in the just a little over a year that I've owned it, I've had to replace basically three tires now on the front. They're just wearing down way too fast. 
Now I'm in a bit of a pickle with the whole thing about rotating tires. Since I've got all four on the back are the same, I don't really wanna rotate those through. I can't really put these in the back now. So I'm still kind of in a wonky position. I suppose I can go in and have them rotated and have them all swapped within the same axle. It's probably easy to do. I could probably do that myself to be, to be honest. But we'll just see where that takes us. But for right now, things are looking a lot better. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching today's video. We really appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. Remember that life happens, even some tire issues on your truck or your RV. Make sure to get those taken care of, but also don't let that stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.